Hi, I'm Elise from Six Sisters Steph, and today I'm going to show you how to make chicken corn chowder. My family loves corn chowder, and after I had my first baby, my mother-in-law brought me corn chowder for the first time, and I love it. So I decided to change it a little bit, make it a little more hearty, and add some meat and really beef it up. So all you need is a big saucepan, and I'm going to start with three cups of milk. This is just 1%, but if you want it to be creamier, you could use whole milk. And then I've got two cups of chicken broth. And I've got a bag, a 16 ounce bag of frozen corn, and it's okay if it's still frozen, because this will simmer until the corn's heated through. I've got, um, I actually cheated on this, a shortcut is I bought a rotisserie chicken and I shredded it, and it comes to be about two cups of chicken. So this is what makes it chicken corn chowder rather than just corn chowder. I've got three russet potatoes and I've cut them all the same size and that helps when you're cooking that the cook time will not have to be different because they're all the same thickness. So those were three potatoes. I've got one yellow onion, just finely diced, minced I guess. And then I've got about eight pieces of bacon. If you want to shortcut, just make this earlier in the day. I actually heat my oven to 400 degrees and put foil on a baking sheet and then I just spread each piece of bacon out and then you don't have to deal with the big greasy mess and when you're done, you roll up the foil and it's all good to go. So this is about eight pieces cooked and crumbled. So add that. I've got, this is optional. I love it. If it's too spicy, feel free to leave it out. It's just a four ounce can of diced green chilies. I feel like it just gives a little more flavor. And then to thicken it up a little, I've got three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And I love this because you just mix it all together at once and then heat it through. Nothing fancy. You could even put this in your slow cooker rather than doing it over your stovetop. But then to season it, I've got a teaspoon of parsley flakes and a half teaspoon of ground thyme. So mix this together. I'll show you in a minute. It looks really pretty with all the colors, especially the bacon. And then I just season it with salt and pepper to taste as much or as little as you want and you could season it individually. So what you'll do is you'll just put this, put a lid on it and let it simmer on low heat for about 30 minutes. And to check, just say, see if your potatoes are soft and that's a good way to tell if it's cooked. But the meat's all cooked so once your potatoes are cooked you're good to go. But just simmer it for about a half hour and you'll have a delicious fall soup. So for this and other delicious recipes, check out SixSistersStuff.com. Thanks for watching.